questions for reflection. Our first reading on this third Sunday of Easter is a portion of a sermon which the Apostle Peter preached in the temple after Peter spoke these powerful words to a man who was lame from birth. And I quote, I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And Acts chapter 3 continues, And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him as the one who sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's, and they were astounded. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people. And then, what we heard today was his message boldly proclaiming the gospel and calling those in the temple to repentance. Notice, the Lord was continuing His ministry now through His apostles. And these apostles had just left the upper room where they had been filled with the Holy Spirit. So it is in our day. The church is the mystical body of Christ and Jesus is with us right now. Do we truly believe this? We should. And the same Holy Spirit has been given to each one of us. We need to recover the holy boldness and living faith which characterized the early church. In our second reading, we heard important words from the beloved disciple John. His three letters were written to all of the early churches and were circulated among them. The Apostle writes about living the faith. In this important passage, he both exhorts the early believers not to sin, rather to keep the commandments, and to live in the light, stay faithful to the Lord, love one another, and grow in Christian maturity. Yet he also reminds them that if we do sin, if we do make wrong choices, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ who is the expiation for our sins. By His cross, our guilt was and is extinguished if we repent and turn back to the Lord. This is true for each one of us. We, as followers of Jesus Christ, Christians, are called to keep His commandments, to live in the light, and to love one another. But if we do sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. Do we believe this? Do we live our lives in the light? During these weeks of Easter, we are given special grace to choose to be faithful. The one who died for us on that cross burst forth from the tomb. He is alive. Believe, receive, and live this truth. Our gospel text on this third Sunday of Easter is taken from the last chapter of St. Luke. It immediately follows the wonderful account of the risen Jesus walking alongside of two of the disciples as they journeyed to Emmaus. They did not recognize him at first, even as he broke open all the scriptures for them. They finally recognized him in the breaking of the bread. This points to the Eucharist, the breaking of the bread. Then he vanished from their sight. The two disciples recounted this wonderful post-resurrection account to the others when Jesus stood in the midst of them all and greeted them. Peace be with you. He showed them his glorified wounds and invited them to touch them. Then he ate the fish they offered. Then he, quote, opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Wow! The risen Jesus wanted them to know he was alive in His glorified body, and He wants us to know that as well. Jesus Christ is not dead. He has been raised, and we receive Him in the most holy Eucharist. 
we too can have our minds opened to understand the scriptures. And we are also called today to be witnesses to the whole world. No matter our state in life or career or age or even vocation, we are first disciples of the risen Lord, called to bring the world to Jesus Christ. How are we doing?